what's up guys welcome back malik here so that's basically the headache that the market gave me today i tried to start it off a little light because i had two losing trades today i haven't had a chance to fully review both of the trades so we'll actually be reviewing them together and to see my thought process during it i'll explain that so i took two trades today i stuck to my rules i only did the two trades both of the trades turned out wrong based on the strategy so we're still working on fine-tuning the strategy finding the right strategy that works right i'll show you both trades where i entered where i got stopped out what happened right and i'll show you exactly what happened today i hope you enjoyed this video let's get into it right so let me just show you the charts here so you know i only trade one um one ticker so i trade the nasdaq 100 etf which is the QQQ. And then let me see what was my first trade of the day. This was at minus five from this. This is at 932. So I entered to the sell side and thinking about this, I entered to the sell side because we had this bearish engulfing candle. So I was thinking it would have continued the trend down. However, it went to the buy side and that's what um, got me hit out. I'll show you. I'll do it a little different today. Let me show you with a short position indicator. So if I entered on the 930 candle and bear in mind, we're looking at the 15 minute chart and just me using this every single day. Believe me, I've gotten much better at just finding out how this thing works and what to use, how, what to use, how it works and just ways to maneuver this platform a lot better. So my entry price, you'll see my entry price here entered at 293.5 right and as you can see i entered on the 9 30 candle because as you can see every 15 minutes so the next candle would be at 9 9 30 next candle at 9 45 etc so i got stopped out on the next candle and let me show you where was my stop that was my exact stop loss because you see i tried to go one dollar above so close to one dollar above that's where i would be hit out for around exactly a hundred dollars right but where i was targeting was just a bit above this so you have the bearish engulfing candle here so i tried to go a bit above it in case you have a little reversal if you have a little reversal i wouldn't get stopped out so you can see on the 9 30 candle i didn't hit that reversal but on the next candle that's what definitely hit me at my reversal and i'll show you exactly where so this is where I have the stop loss level and I got hit out at 29442. So you can see that it was on this candle, the 945 candle that I got hit out. So it was within around, uh, what's that, 13 minutes. And I had my, more than likely my take profit was like for a two take profit. So it was a bit low, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It was a bit, my take profit would have been somewhere down here if we had such a trending move to the downside generally i try to go for a two to one in case i have like one loss or two loss in a day one winning trade could have just cleared me up right there but that definitely did not happen today you can see i have a risk to reward ratio of two so this would have been the ideal target for me to trade this to get a two to one risk reward and then let me even remove this and as you can see I entered based on the fact that we had a bearish engulfing candle, right? It hit actually a level of support here or very close and just rebounded, right? So it never actually got to the level of support. It came close and then it was just up from there, up from there. Pretty strong to the point where it hit me out for $93, right? The second trade now. Second trade was when I'm seeing the market kind of go that way. I'm seeing the market move bullish. We had a bullish engulfing candle, right? So we have a bullish engulfing candle. And I, after that candle closed, based on the strategy, you go to the upside, right? So I entered on a bullish engulfing candle. You minus five from this. So this would have been the 145 candle. And I entered to the long side. So I have the long position right here. 145 candle. Let me see. This was the, yeah, the minus five, three. No, that's actually 12.45, right? So this candle, so I actually entered long 
on the bullish engulfing right so i entered and i'll just use this to just make it nice nice easy easy right so my entry price i'm not gonna use this at all because i'm working with dollars and not the exact not like lot size i'm not too keen on how to use lot size as yet i might have to start learning that but hopefully not and i can use this platform to kind of continue right so if i entered here generally my take profit if i'm looking for a two to one risk reward right two to one i think at some point i was just saying just give me a just give me a one to one at this point so i can just recover my loss from today and leave right but i did not get that and my stop loss is generally a little bit below as i said where the engulfing candle was formed so if it is a bullish candle i try to set it a little bit below the bullish engulfing so that way in case we have a trend a little drawdown but not a complete change in direction i can capitalize on all of that move however today um it didn't get that two move pause it didn't even get a a one to one risk reward honestly so i had held it and then when it started to reverse against me with a three line strike actually i was just hit out and let me move this this is just my key i have a key that tells me that um black i have a key that i created that black is the four hour and yellow lines are for the daily and red lines are for weekly whether it be support or resistance lines right so let me actually put this back now and my entry price my entry price is what two nine five four nine and i love this platform it's very very nice it makes things very very simple i'm not gonna lie very simple i would be an affiliate for trading view so look out for me to probably get a sponsorship from them in the future but it's a very nice platform a lot of tools a lot of things to use right so you can see hmm what happened here so it's looking like i had my stop loss no i didn't actually hit my stop loss i'm remembering what happened today so i had my stop loss here at the moment of entering the trade right the two to one risk reward two to one risk reward right so initially my stop loss was like somewhere let me show you initially my stop loss was about say here this is where i had my stop loss when i could see the trade kind of form a top you have a bearish engulfing candle pushing down i was like yep i'm getting out of this trade if it starts to go against me i'm gonna get out and i said and i just um manually close the trade at 29491 and just i just left at that point so that's why i didn't have a loss of like closer to a hundred dollars i took the trade a bit early and just was like yep it is not worth it i'm not staying in this trade and you can see it's probably the start of this bearish candle to the downside which was the three o'clock 15 minute candle because i'm using the 15 minute charts so you can see a minute pass so it obviously opened at this level and then within 51 seconds actually within 51 seconds it had just a push down and i was just like yep i'm out i'm not sitting in this trade anymore but you can see that is it that my i'm not sure if my take profit was a bit unreasonable that could have been the case because entered on a bearish on a bullish engulfing looking for a two to one and it was just it's hard to move it didn't even move that way right however inversely let me see say say you would have went for a two to one right on this um bearish engulfing right and then you go for you say your stop loss is around here so see your stop loss is just right there and you go for a two to one you know easily hit a two to one and this is something like it's showing me something about the strategy as well they tend to not go for large candles when you want to set your 
um, stop loss. So if you have a small candle, right? And this is a, it's a bearish, I, I wouldn't, I think this is a three line strike, right? No, this is a three line strike. But we just had a bearish engulfing. I'm not sure how you're considering this a bearish engulfing, but cheers to you. So we had a bearish engulfing candle here, right? With the stop loss right above the bearish engulfing, you were able to take this trade and easily, easily hit a two to one risk reward within what? 15, 30, 45 minutes, right? And you could have even seen a. Uh, damn. We could have even seen a 6 to 1 risk reward. Beautiful. A 6 to 1 risk reward just by entering on this candle, which could have maybe been a doji. You could you, you consider this more a doji, but this is, I would say this is kind of like a doji, but it's not that much. It's still a neutral candlestick. Plus you have a bearish engulfing pattern being built. So you could have easily, easily taken it to the downside a lot more and could have seen what? At most, a 6 to 1 risk reward, right? That's basically what happened today. Um, as you can see, I, I followed my rules, I followed my strategy. What I would say is that entering on like a bullish engulfing with such a big candle before, it kind of exposes you to a lot more risk. Why? Because you have to set your stop loss a bit. You have to set your stop loss. You have to set your stop loss a bit too low to even take this trade. So say I was say I when I'm taking this trade, I'm by the rule strategy, I should set my stop loss below here automatically you have a big stop loss if you have a big stop loss it's hard to get a solid risk to reward ratio let's even look at yesterday yesterday right so even here definitely you would have been knocked out definitely but where you wouldn't have been knocked out let's see where you wouldn't have been knocked out is on this trade and let's go for a short position. So, so ideally you're supposed to enter there. And you have uh I'm going for a risk to reward of two. Let's see. Yep, would have hit it here. Huh. It's almost like it's almost like it works best at around two two fifteen, because this was two o'clock today, huh? Flat out two o'clock. If this is two o'clock on Friday, I think we might be seeing a pattern here. But let's um, pay more attention to it. So let's see two o'clock on Friday. Two o'clock on Friday. Yeah, there's nothing happening at two o'clock on Friday. Hmm. Let's see two o'clock on another day. Two o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock here. One o'clock you would have had an immense upside. Immense, beautiful, right? close to a level of support here I'm wondering what added to the X what what was the extra push here so you had EMA push down here that could have been it here you had you're close to another EMA but you didn't you weren't able to take it down however take it down right so that's basically what happened today I'm gonna more fine-tune the strategy but as you can see like there are some trades that would have win using this strategy. However, the two trades that I entered and I'm planning to just do one to two trades a day. So even if I had a winning one on the first one, I probably wouldn't have traded again, right? So this third one definitely missed me because I'm not going to take all of the trades I see in the day because that might leave me at risk to just lose a lot of money. However, um, hmm. It's, it's, it's funny it's funny because i could have taken say i took one i took two and then the three i let it rock out the three would have covered for all of these losses i'm not sure how often this will work but it seems like there's a possibility that this can work if you 
employ that strategy so maybe say you entered here right entered here to the downside you had a bearish you had a bullish engulfing you try to close this as fast as possible but it could have hit you out for your stop loss quickly quickly here quickly quickly here this would have been the first losing trade boom you enter this now second losing trade you enter this now maybe a third losing trade depending on where you have your stop loss if you had a stop loss above here you're gonna get to rock out some of these profits hmm. seems like one out of three of the trades for the day might be right so let's see this was like you're right here you're right you're right you would have been able to take it down here so you would have been able to take it down here and then on this day you'd have been rocking out some money here and then you're rocking out more money here so how much of these trades are right one two three four five so five of these trades are right so sometimes the strategy really really outdoes itself so what's your first one wrong second one right you can let it rock out you let it rock out you let it rock out until when holding i'm not sure when would have been the best time but you could have let it rock out a bit more right you could have probably closed it here when it's a bearish three line strike so one you're wrong for one percent try to aim for the one percent two right two you enter it you're right you let it rock out you could even move your stop loss to break even let it rock out let it rock out move your stop loss all after here you let it rock out till you reach here close out right then you flip it flip it and you let it rock out back to the downside would have been a great trade hmm. very interesting very interesting on this day you'd have been wrong for the entire day except for probably here so you would have been wrong on the first trade wrong on the second trade third trade right if you had a stop loss a bit above here you let it come down you either take profit here you enter a trade you're wrong again enter a trade here you're wrong again generally i wouldn't enter a trade at 330 so i think just these four trades would have been me for the day with one being a loser maybe i wouldn't take this i might take this so one loser two loser one winner if i didn't hit my stop loss the third the third one is a loser so could have made probably two two wins two times wins and one time loss overall right actually just one loss overall on the day one percent so this would have been a hundred dollar day loss say i'm risking hundred dollars to make two hundred dollars on every single trade right basically what happened today i'm happy that we were able to review this leave some comments i hope that somebody actually watches this and gains some value from it because i'm seeing a lot more to the strategy and the thing about it is that this is the real this is the real you're seeing me take take trades lose trades show the account showing the reality of what trading is about and show you when somebody gets from losing all the time to profitability show you when somebody blows an account because i'm gonna be trading every single trading day and recording it nobody can stop me right so let's get this right everything's gonna be great and i'll see you in tomorrow's video all right hope you enjoyed this video all right bye bye